So basically, Yo. Uh, casket. What are we currently doing? Uh, shooting a music video for um, my Apollo release, which is coming out in September uh, for the tune August Spades. August okay. um, It's a free, it's a free track EP on, on vinyl and digital release. Um, it's gonna be quite good. We've got some crazy costumes in there. Yeah. Just, actually, people have really made an effort to come down. We've got really? like UV sort of uh, paint and everything. It's good, man. It's good, but as you can hear, we have set the uh, fire alarms off okay. because we're rock and roll like that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, it's it's gonna be wicked. I'm really really happy. Everyone's sort of pulled in and done the spray painting and stuff. You know, it's it's gonna be cool. But yeah. Okay, cool. Um, when did you say the release was out? I believe it's September the 10th. September the 10th, and yeah. that's on uh, Apollo. Apollo, yeah? Yeah, which um, is uh, RNS's sister. RNS's, oh, that's good to know. So, um, how did you get involved with Apollo? Well, it's kind of it's kind of long. I mean, I was on a label called Diamond, um, which is run by one of the half of Point Blank, who were a dub dubstep duo in Belgium, and um, he knew the guy, uh, Renard, and um, basically he sent some of my stuff to him. And it sort of rolled from there, really. Just kept in contact, and you know, it kept kind of pushing me to make a kind of different sound. You know, just mess around with things, and yeah, it's kind of it's kind of nice now. I kind of found found a little home for it, you know. And yeah. it's yeah, it's it's a wicked label to be on. I mean, like the artists are just amazing on that label. I mean, people like Synchro, you know, and all the rest, and it's fantastic, you know. So yeah, it's a great label to be a part of, and that's kind of how it rolls, really. I mean, hopefully, working more and more EPs to come, and then an album, I guess. So. Yeah. So um. It's quite an obvious one, but sort of inspiration-wise, obviously you haven't got a sort of. Well, personally, I couldn't sort of define your sound. That's the best <laughs> oh, way of putting it. Um, in a good way. In a good way. No, so, yeah. no, yeah. <laughs> um, but what would you sort of say would be your sort of inspiration-ish um, type stuff? Inspiration, I'd, I'd say. To be honest, a lot of world music, kind of, I guess, kind of more tribal-sounding stuff. I mean, as a, as I used to play drums, like a lot, I kind of um, just went from there, really. And I, I love to incorporate a lot of percussion. In my music, yeah. you know, and make it all kind of, you know, just a bit ma manic, you know, and live record it, you know, instead of you going through sample packs and stuff, just actually going out to junkyards, grabbing stuff, taking it back, getting it, and seeing what comes from it, you know, of course, keeping an electronic element in there. But, um, I mean, I guess inspiration wise, like with uh, people, I mean, a lot of people say I sound a bit like Eskimo, which is, um, which is great, I, I love this stuff, you know, and there's, um, so there's people, I mean, someone, someone said the other day was a bit like, Kind of the ambient works of Apex Twin, you know, kind of really spacious stuff, which is again really nice. But I guess, I guess myself, I don't really know. I, I don't really. I tend to not try and listen to too much stuff and just sit in my room and go a bit stir crazy and just write because you know you, something organic will come out. Of that, you know, and just I mean, you know, it never sounds good enough to you. You know, it's the other thing. But I hope people enjoy it. They're here. You know? Yeah, cool. I'm um, basically roll off any other things you want to say basically but um, just like to say a big thank you to the, the Apollo guys for all their help and of course Diamond and Screwdus uh, they're absolutely lovely guys to work with and I hope to work more with these people and uh, look after the video <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool cheers man Ben, um, what are you sort of aiming, sort of, with the tune that's being, obviously you've heard the tune, what would you say is the sort of thing you're trying to aim with, with the video, like what would you sort of say uh, you're trying to create? Well, basically, obviously we started off with the promo that we released a couple of weeks ago, um, just with this one, just, it, the whole idea around it is to be released at the same time as the EP that uh, Casket's bringing out, so it, it's just as a, I suppose you could say, marketing tool to sort of get people to listen to the EP a bit more, promote Apollo Records, promote Charlie, and obviously it's work for our portfolio and just work for us. Yeah, it's good, mate. So, so um, there's a lot of colours, is the best way to put it. Yeah. Um, what, um, Inspiration wise, sort of what are you going for with the video? Obviously, really, you don't want to give too much away, obviously, but. Underground, club, clubby kind of vibe. We didn't want it to be like overly, like, you know, sort of uh, ocean rooms down the road or any sort of like, yeah. like that. But it's like a bit more underground, a bit more low key. Um, but yeah, just, yeah. Keep, keep it, just, yeah, low key really, didn't yeah. want to go like OCT with it, but obviously wanted to go a bit more over the top with the effects, yeah, and yeah. the lighting, yeah, yeah. just really make it like really funky, yeah. you know, upbeat, but you know, I mean, like I say, a bit underground, yeah. a bit grimy, a bit dark, sort of thing. Yeah. it's kind of what we're going for. Yeah, cool. And obviously, as you can hear in the background, Smoke Machine has... <laughs> yeah, that was kind of, uh, <laughs> a mishap really, we're in 10 seconds on the Smoke Machine, and the uh, fire alarm went off, and now that's on the time. 
Yeah. Hopefully the fire brigade won't show up. But yeah. I know the girls won't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. Cool. Yeah, right. Cool. Yeah,